This morning, like what what are the problems with Kamala Harris again? And it's like, you know, I'm like, well, they're you know, they're not um they're not they're they're not any, I think, that ultimately are going to um sink her candidacy, but they could. And um I think that I probably have a greater issue with these problems than your average Democratic voter, which um, I, I think I would like to think that's not I think the case. Anecdotally, I, we were ta- I was talking about Bree about this and, you know, she's been following this very closely and writing on it. And no, I mean, again, we're we're just catching rep- riptides from social media so far. So who sees? But that being said, it is definitely not just the usual suspects critiquing this that you'd expect. There's a much broader range of, hey, wait a second. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's just. Um, I mean, we'll I'm see, trying to think if there was, there. Um, uh, you know, the the comparisons to Obama are inevitable because so far, at least, uh, no one else has opened their campaign with twenty thousand people at the rally. Now. Right. You can say what, what you know, what you will or not. It's just it, it is an indication of at least um, a good organization. It is a good ind- indication of some level of enthusiasm um, and and whatnot. But I don't remember at the beginning of Obama's uh, campaign there being substantive critiques of 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 him that there are with uh, Kamala Harris. With that said. Obama did not have the um, was a little bit more studious in not taking certain positions in certain, you know, in his roles. He was well, a legislator. He also wasn't a prosecutor. And he wasn't I mean, a prosecutor. There is some def- right. I agree with you that, yes, of course, there's progressive prosecutors and you don't want to have a simplistic no prosecutor view. But, I mean, she was a highly aggressive prosecutor, well, which Obama was right, not. Right, right. The highly <laughs> right. aggressive yes. part is That's what is the problematic. Problem. No, I agree. But and, I'm, yeah, I just and, wanted to add that so we didn't do this simplistic frame you don't and like. And in an era where we are still, I think, in an era of, in, in many respects, I think the whole uh, Trump epoch could be considered a, the hopefully the culmination, <laughs> maybe just a, just an era of, uh, of, uh, lack of accountability for some elements of society, whereas there is an over accountability for other elements of society. I hope I'm not being obtuse there, but um, the uh, the elite, the establishment, the moneyed um, have one set of rules, whereas those who are not have another set of rules. Um, white people in society have lived with one set of rules, whereas People of color have lived with another, particularly in the context of law enforcement, right? I mean, that's what um, much of the stop and frisk was about, much of what our drug war was about. And so here is uh, Kamala Harris on uh, with uh, Charlemagne. The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Breakfast Club. Club. Charlemagne the God. Your friend. I, Charlemagne the, sh- the God. The sh- Holla. We did. We, oh, no. Oh, we did a couple hi. of uh, Sorry, shows together. Sorry, I didn't together. mean to make you mad. But um, here is, uh, here is, is his interview with Kamala Harris. Is that laughing Also, and I know the answer to this, too. They say you oppose legalizing weed. That's not true. I know. <laughs> and, and, and look, I joke about it, half joking. Half my family's from Jamaica. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 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 they be so mad but, at you. Have you ever smoked? I have. Okay. Like and I and I inhale. I did I did inhale. It was a long time ago. <laughs> but yeah. I know you have to go. They say you have to go. I just to I just broke news. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was it in college? Uh huh. See, see, I like stuff like that. That's a real <laughs> honest answer. Yeah. Was it a blunt or joint? It was a joint. Hey. Yeah. You remember the high? <laughs> I do. So if it was legalized all throughout the country and <laughs> medicinal, would you, you know, do it? Listen, again? I think that it gives a lot of people joy, and we need more <laughs> joy. We need more joy in this world. <laughs> now, I, I think it's a great attitude to have, frankly. 
Um, I, I think we would be in better shape if uh, all our uh, politicians had that perspective and moved towards legalization. We're, we're, we're basically headed there. The problem is, is that um, she has no history of promoting that position. She has that set of she has that awareness. She had it in college. Her family was Jamaican, certainly half Jamaican, certainly before now. Right. Um, she opted not to join other states in their attempts as the as the uh, AG of California to take marijuana off the DEA's list of most dangerous substances. And this was crucially important during the Obama years because you had some states that had legalized it or used it uh, for medical purposes. I mean, this, people forget um, that even when states went ahead and okayed it for medical marijuana, there was still aggressive attempts by the federal government to raid these places. I mean, it's like, it seems years ago, now that you can go to like legal dispensaries uh, for, for just recreational use. Ruined a lot but of people's lives. Ruined a lot of people's lives. And there were people, this is when it was medical marijuana too, and people who were desperately trying to provide relief for a whole host of people who were going through an immense amount of pain. When Obama... When the Obama administration raided California's medical marijuana dispensaries, and I think this was in 20, was it 2010 or 2011? Um, maybe it was 2012. Um, Harris uh, barely just put out a statement. Um, in 2014, her Republican opponent in uh for uh, i think it was uh, for the this would have been for uh was it senate 2014 would be senate her republican opponent ran to the left of her on the issue of 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 criminal justice reform um now look i take with you know this is i think it's a legitimate critique of like where are you on these uh, subjects? Well, um, I think it's, and, I mean, and what's going on? It's one thing to sort of like laugh this stuff off now, but you were in a pivotal position to um, to change the policy on this. I also just find it very, I, and I, I'll I'll draw a thread because I I think you know there's a clip of her floating around from several years ago where she kind of laughs off a marijuana question. And I remember when Obama was president, you know, Obama, you know, he got some decriminalization questions early on and he kind of was like, hey, I'm, hey, ooh, what's the, what's the question? Big stoner kind of thing. Right. And, you know, first of all, whatever, forget who cares about hypocrisy. But I, th I'll make an exception in this one, which is like, you know, especially for people who are open about their drug use and laudably so. But the fact that other people who got caught couldn't get college loans or spent time in prison for nonviolent offenses instead of having, you know, a career or a family is pretty sick. But I really don't, I guess what I'm saying though is I don't like this flip where it's like almost the same tone, but the substance has shifted. It's literally like several years ago, it's ha ha ha, whatever pothead. And now it's like, ha ha ha, of course I support it. And it's like, well, what happened in the interim I, when I, there wasn't any substantive shift? I, I, I think what you just said uh, just before that is more relevant because there has been a history of her in her role as AG. Okay, of look, these are documented things. There was a significant amount of support within her office to bring charges or to investigate. I should say, investigate to start a more than a preliminary investigation because the preliminary investigation was done on Steve Maju uh, Mnuchin and, and One West. OK. She killed it. That is this is reporting that existed prior to her, uh, even anybody contemplating the idea that she might run for president. There is a pattern here. Of poo pooing criminal justice reform. And when we talk about criminal justice reform, 
the even the um, the most moderate of edges of that of the reasons why people engage in that advocacy is that the system is really unfair. And there's no one who's listening to the vo sound of my voice who doesn't agree with that, that, that notion. That the system is really fundamentally unfair. We know it in the context, broadly speaking, of, 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 of the drug war. But we also know it just in terms of, you know, uh, across the board, that our criminal justice system incarcerates far, far too many people that is uh, unfair in terms of who is targeted and who is policed and how. And even if she was not sensitive to that issue and was across the board of harsh prosecutor, I would have less of an issue with this. But at its heart, what she does not seem to uh, have any appreciation of or any record of appreciating is this unfairness, which she was actively engaging in and supporting. And that's what I find problematic, is that the subtextual narrative here is there are some people who deserved to pay the consequences of things, and there are other people who are not. And... That, I think, is very problematic because that also can translate into policy that has nothing to do with criminal justice reform. That has to do with who government works for and who government protects. And in my mind, to the extent that there is any sign of that in the context of the work she's done, she, it's flipped. <laughs> Who, at least relative to, to what I like or to what I would want. So, I mean, that, that I find is a little bit problematic. Um, we'll see. Maybe there will be other uh, instances where, you know, she uh, projects something different. I mean, but, of course, I just have to register that I find all over punitive approaches of any kind profoundly problematic. And I also think the other thing to add in the mix was the other piece that came out from The Intercept of her running her first DA race, uh, or maybe it was a re-election, I think it was her first race, significantly to the right of another prosecutor who had a much more uh, basically rehabilitation-oriented record, and her basically doing ads, like MS-13-style ads, like here's a picture of, of a Latino guy holding a gun, throwing a sign, and we're sick of this as a city, and we need to lock people up. This is the policy, and the kind of you know, hacky Jamaica jokes. I mean, you know, I don't know if that makes up for it. Hey, look, also, if you poll Jamaica, I, I, these might be changing, but a lot of Jamaicans supported criminalizing marijuana. That's kind of an off Rasta joke. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I'm getting petty here, but it annoyed me. I, I, I'm less concerned with I'm like more concerned corny about dad that. No, jokes I'm type so of situation. Much, I'm more concerned but about the Jamaican the, humor. Of the course. um but i mean if that's the case if she feels comfortable saying that now how did she feel comfortable uh before right with all that stuff um